Imagine living in a corrugated iron shack in the scorching Namibian sun, but keeping it cool by sealing it with cardboard. What about having access to a fully functioning garden kept green by dishwashing water and kitchen waste? Maybe you want to prepare a meal, but there's no power. This is where innovations like rocket stoves and solar cooker boxes come into play. They are all examples of permaculture and experts say these methods are positive and solution-oriented. But if permaculture is so great, why are more people not practicing it? I think some of it's got to do with our education system and media and that we are being groomed to work in a technological world. And that only has room for a few people. About 18 members from the Sheikh Dwellers Federation took part in a 10-day permaculture training course at Farm Okukuna in Ventuk. The training is supported by the Southern African Innovation Support Fund. The trainees were taught how to create prototypes like this dry toilet made from pallets, cardboard and paper the trainees say being part of this program has changed their perspective on life. With water which you are using for cooking, you can still uh, filter them through the process that we learn also at the permaculture course. You can filter them to water the garden. Also the waste from the kitchen it can still one of the best decomposed for the garden. Farm Okukuna is situated on the outskirts of Koreanghap in Katutura. The farm is a project of the city of Ventuk, the Elolo Permaculture Initiative and the World Future Council. Farm Okukuna is slowly developing into an urban agricultural and innovation center. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.